Another useful tool to capture images to turn in your work is the print screen function on your computer. And what print screen will do is it will take whatever image is on your computer and copy that so you can use that in Google Drawings or Google Slides or anything else. Um, on most full-size keyboards, on your keyboard, you will have a button right here that says print screen. Since laptop keyboards are a little bit smaller, they have to figure out how to save space. Again, that's one of those design challenges. Uh, so ours right here is this print screen button right here, but you see it's in blue. So what that means is you have to hold down function and press print screen. And so what that will do on your Fairfax County computers is a little bit different. It'll open up a program called Snagit, which will let you take either an image of the screen or it will let you take a video of the screen. So two ways, I can hit function and print screen. So hold down function and press print screen. And a little screen is gonna pop up. So Snagit is saying, hey, what do you want to copy? It's gonna give you a little bit of tips. If I just wanna take a little picture, like say I just want this Google logo right there. If I click and drag, now I'm just copying that little logo right there. Uh, the next screen will pop up. It might say, do you want to take a picture of it or a video of it? So if I want to take a video, this one's defaulting to video right now. It's going to say right there. Cool. So now I can take a video of whatever's going on on my screen. When I hit stop, the Snagit editor is going to pop up. So I can take a look at whatever I did. And it's a little bit slow. So I can see right here, this latest one, I took a video of that Google logo. Cool. So now I can take a video of whatever's going on there. Fantastic. All right. If I go back to this capture button, um, the first time you open it, you might see a screen like this, asking if you want to take an image or a video. So a lot of times, you'll just take an image. And let's say I want to capture. Say I wanted to take a picture of everything on the screen. I've got this full screen option up to the top here. And I can hit full screen. And what it's going to do is it's going to copy everything to my clipboard. So if I go to another program and I hit paste or control V. All right. Uh, normally it will, without Snagit, it will paste it. So Snagit looks like you have to hit the copy all button. Come over to my Google Drawings, my Google Slides, whatever and control V or right click and paste. And now I've got a screenshot that I can manipulate, draw on, I can crop, I can do whatever I need to for my assignment. You can put that in a Google slide, you can put it in a drawing, whatever you need to do. Uh, Snagit also has a couple other built-in things if I wanna write some text on there. Like say, that's a logo. And you've got all your standard text editing, change the font, change the size, everything like that. I can add some arrows, say, hey, that's a logo. And then I can save that if I want to.